West Ham have been linked with Matthias Pereira of West Brom. There's been reports that we may be looking at Pereira as a transfer alternative to Jesse Lingard. There were some reports yesterday coming out of English media outlets that West Ham weren't going to have the money to sign Jesse Lingard on a permanent deal. Apparently, we weren't going to be able to meet his wage demands, which is about 100k a week. And when you actually analyse that, it's absolutely baffling, and I do not believe that at all. Because West Ham are already paying his wages in for 100 or 100k or so per week. So surely that wage budget and that structure should be then considered for next season should be taken into account. So I'm still expecting Lingard to hopefully become a permanent transfer for West Ham United. But there was reports that Matthias Pereira could be looked at if we do not sign Jesse Lingard. Now, this transfer excites me. Now, is it going to happen if we sign Jesse Lingard? Probably not. Will this transfer even happen if Jenny, Jesse Lingard doesn't go through? Probably not. But this is someone that, despite playing for a West Brom team, that they struggled to score goals this season. They didn't really have a front man who would score 10, 12, 11 goals. This is someone that really was a shining light for West Brom as they got relegated from the Premier League. 10 goals and 5 assists in 31 games for someone that was only new to English football last season in the championship then was signed on a permanent basis as he was on loan in the championship for around about seven and a half eight and a half million and he's been linked with West Ham for 20 million and this is someone if we're going to sell Yarmolenko, if there's some of the fringe players we're going to leave the football club in the summer, this is someone that if we do have the money to sign, you know, Jesse Lingard, I would really look at Matthias Pereira. He is someone that can unlock doors. You can only go by his goal against Arsenal. The ability, similar to Lingard, to drive from deep and try and score a goal is a fantastic finish. He's very good from set pieces uh, in terms of corners, getting assists and scoring free kicks. He scored a number of free kicks this season. This is someone that I really like the look of and this is not the only you know pr uh, Premier League player that's been relegated that I would look at from pre relegated Premier League clubs you know of course you have Conor Gallagher who's a very good sort of box-to-box -box midfielder that I would look at yes he's on loan from Chelsea but you've got a number of players at Fulham Lookman he's on loan I think from from another club but you've got Anguissa you've got Ariola. there's a lot of quality uh, from uh, quality players from teams that have just been relegated from the Premier League this season. There's been reports that Sanderberg or Sanderberg, however you want to pronounce it, is available for £12 million. This is someone that was looked at by top Premier League clubs before he made a surprise transfer to Sheffield United for around about £20 million. It looks like he could be available for around about £12 million. So there's a lot of players out there. If West Ham want to build and sort of build their squad depth, whether we get into Europe uh, next season remains to be seen. But if we do, we should be looking at some of these players like Pereira, you know, who can create goals, who can score goals, who can get the fans off their seats. We should be looking at these kind of players. We really should be because this is someone that can unlock a door. If you look at the Everton game, especially in the second half, when we was 1-0 down, Lingard was dropping deeper and deeper and deeper. We only had Yarmolenko on the bench to try and bring on. We, we had Bowen, but he come on, come on for an injured uh, Lanzini. We had four nails. We had Ben Rama. And... Outside the first team, we don't have any options that could cause a threat to the opposition. When Yarmolenko came on the pitch against Everton, he was absolutely terrible. Every single time he tried trapping the ball or controlling the ball, he would lose the possession or the ball would go out, go out, go out of play. So if West Ham do have the finances and... By the looks of it, it doesn't. I think 45 million is being rumoured. And if we get into Europe, 45 million is absolutely nothing. Considering that we're going to probably have to spend 20 to 25 million already of that 45 million on Jesse Lingard. It doesn't really leave David Moyes much transfer budget in order to build the squad. We need a striker. We need a centre back. So the owners need to spend the money or find the bloody money because there's no excuse if we get European football. Absolutely no excuse to not invest into this squad so that we avoid having the same sort of repetitive seasons we have had since moving into London Stadium of doing very well for a season, two or three bad seasons, have a good season. So we need to build on that. They need to put money in, the, in they need to find the money from their pockets because we know they've got the money and invest into the playing stuff and back David Moyes. And I really would love to see West Ham, you know, manoeuvre the, the relegated team's uh, transfer market. Look at Sander Burge, look at Matthias Pereira, look at Lukman, Ariola, Jakob um, Jansson or Johansson, 
Anderson, shall I say, completely wrong name. Anderson from Fulham, but he's on loan from he's on loan at um, from Leon. There's a lot of good players that have just been relegated, and we need to be looking at them in order to build our squad because a lot of clubs are already going to be looking at them. Everton and Tottenham apparently looking at. Pereira. There's some quality players. We need more of those faces, who, especially creative players, if we are to go further in Europe, if we get into Europe next season, if we are going to, you know, challenge for Europe, we're going to have to have, you know, depth from the depth from the bench. If that means Bowen and, you know, Ben Rama have to sit on the bench and you've got Pereira, Lingard, you know, four nails. That's an exciting trio. We need a striker. So hopefully... You know, West Ham will find the money to go and buy some players. But it does look like West Ham are looking at Matthias Pereira as a transfer alternative to Jesse Lingard if we fail to sign him. Hit the subscribe button for more West Ham videos and I'll catch you next time. See you later.